Welcome back guys to the second round of the Formula Rookie season we're doing here on PC. As you can see, I'm starting in 16th. And I'd like to say that that is for some strange, scary technical difficulty to do with PC configurations and some kind of bullshit. But the truth is, I skipped the qualifying phase by accident. I did. I clicked it and I skipped it and I have no idea why. I really didn't mean to. But uh, and I'm not feeling particularly proud of myself considering this is a track that I've never driven on before. So I try and squeeze it between these two cars. Nice red colour on the left and the bright yellow on the right hand side. There's cars all over the place here. I seem to be the, I would say that I seem to be the only, not the only person, sorry, that's not driven this track before because the AI seem terrible, but uh, then I go and do that. So, so we're up into 11th, which is a heck of a lot better than we were doing at the end of. Uh, we're at the start, so we're Alton Park, second race after starting in 16th, although we did that because it was reverse positions. This time, starting in 16th because of my stupidity. Outbreaking myself way too much into that corner. I'm going to bring myself round, following the line, because as I say, I've never done this track before in my life. Although, again, it is a local track, so I say local, it is a British track. I didn't need to change into second there, take note. It really didn't need to happen. And they're all going wide, why am I taking the inside line? Clearly not learning. I'm going to go way over that curve, that is terrible, terrible driving. As I say, this series is all about honest driving. And as my Formula 1 series were back on the uh, F1 2012. Just kind of playing it as if you would in real life, so no restarts, no crazy loopholes and shortcuts and all the other stuff that comes with these games. So it is just a case of just learning the track, learning the drive line, trying to get better myself. To try and show you just how amazingly good these games look. As I said, we've come a real long way since even 2012. If you look, even the first few videos I did started on the um, SD as opposed to HDMI. Now we're running on ultra graphics on the PC, but it shows how far these games have really come. It also shows how little my driving skill has come, which is pretty much non existent as this yellow and black car behind me in my mirrors is filling up my gearbox he's probably going to dive in down the inside because I've got no idea what gear I'm supposed to take this corner in so I'm going to break into third and hope that he doesn't shoot on my inside and take me out which he doesn't although I got a little nudge so I don't know where that came from whether or not that was just my poor driving again or I did get nudged so I do apologise it's in a particularly interesting racing it's not seeing front when they're setting fastest laps on Snetterton but it is what happens if you put a complete amateur with a wheel in his bedroom at 9 o'clock on Friday. So we go wide on the last corner. I don't seem to be turning as much as I probably should do. A little bit of lag there, which was interesting. So I've not seen that before from Project Cars. So we cross the line to take 12th, providing the car behind doesn't just shoot up my inside, and he doesn't. So that was perfect. We'll take that for 11th from 16th, and we'll get ready for the next race. Hopefully it can be better. Alrighty, guys, we are back for the second race on Snetterton, low level sun there, need to get my sunglasses on, probably change into first and not jump the start, which I didn't, which is fortunate, a much better start, we're starting again from 16th, I'm not quite sure how the classification is working on this game at the moment, because in Alton Park we did seem to start from, qualified in first, and started first in one go, and then, uh, and then 16th on the next one, so I thought it was reverse grid, but clearly something else is going into play there, maybe I skip qualifying again. Who knows, it is me after all. So I seem to have dropped back into 16th after a very good start. I just don't seem to be able to get the confidence for these corners which I had on Old Park. I'm definitely all over the driving line. Although, good old Greeny here on the left doesn't have a clue where the track is, so we're doing better than him. Cars all over the place, this is a terrifying sight. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be from here. I'm just going to play this safe and sort of back off, but just lift into this corner because I don't feel like you don't have to as hard as I have been doing although again reading this blue car here way over the place yellow getting all out of shape blue getting all out of shape I should be able to take these cars I should be a bit more aggressive on these corners now that I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident with the track although again if it doesn't feel quite right it's definitely not Orton Park to me I can't get this last corner at all being taken from every single angle at the moment and so clearly just going way too slow into these final corners but I just don't want to I want to do that basically Unfortunately, the penalty system on this game seems to be non-existent, so we just won't talk about that. Maybe he'll come and uh, beat the shit out of me in the garage or something. I don't know. I 
It could be an additional add-on if somebody wants to make that mark. That could be interesting to see. The early Michael Schumacher era. So I'm getting nudged from behind again, which is interesting. Or oh, was that just my terrible driving? I am really not good at this track. So we are way, way out now. I'm just going to drive this back up and see. But again, this is supposed to be on a series of no restarts, although I can't imagine this is particularly interesting for you guys to watch. So we're going to just take this nice and slow, try and bring this car home in 16th. I did see that we were actually, because of how good we did in all part, we were only three points behind the leader, but that's not going to be the case. So hopefully the next race is going to be significantly better. So I'm going to take this time to just say that but this new wheel, the Frostmaster 458 Italia, is actually incredibly good for how much I paid for it. But I do feel that there are some odd dead zones on it. It just doesn't seem to do what it is you want all the time. That could just be a configuration. That could be how a project cars runs with this on PC. I don't know if anybody knows anything about the optimization of these games. You can surely let me know because I'd be interested to find out. But, um, but yeah, it just seems to be some just some odd things that don't quite seem to work as well as uh, it did on other games as I lose it there on this second to last long right-hander. Tricky corners to get right because you don't want gear, especially dropping down the gears will just send you into a complete frenzy spin. So, fortunately, there we go, guys. There was no records broken there. We did just end the race further behind than we did when we started. So, an all-round terrible race day for me. But I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.